Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we are going to look into a Laravel package, which is known as Laravel Backup. Using this package, we can easily backup MySQL database and all the files and folders in our application. It will be saved as a zip file and we can easily extract it. Whenever we run a command, it will be saved as a zip file and we can easily store it in our local file system or S3 bucket. And let's say if something goes wrong in our application, then we can use that backup. So now let's see how to use it. You can see here in the documentation page, Laravel backup. One day you'll thank us for this. And this is developed by Spassi, to whom you can easily trust when it comes to Laravel package. So now let's see how to install it. We'll go here. Then let's copy this composer require. And here, let me paste it. It is now installed. Now let us also publish this config file. The config file is also now published and you can see that the configuration files look like this and we can also see that here inside the config folder which is backup.php. We can see everything here inside the backup file. Now we have installed this package. Let's see how to use it. So here is the section called taking backups. We'll go here and we can just run php artisan backup run in order to run the backup. So let's see what happens whenever we run. Also for now, let me open this storage folder here like this and this app folder. And now here I'll run this PHP artisan backup run. You can see here it is dumping the database and looking at what are the files that we need to backup and zipping it and then it is storing over here in the Lara tips inside the storage app folder. And it is just naming the folder zip file as current date and timestamp. So in this way, it backups the, all the files and folders and databases by default. Now let's see how this package knows what are the files that need to be backed up and which databases. It takes everything from the config file that we have seen before. So this backup config file. So here it gives the name of the folder where we need to backup as the name as this app name. And if I just show you here .env file, the app name over here is Lara tips. And we also saw that the backup was inside the Lara tips. Then here is the files key and inside here we have include and inside it we have base path. So whatever the files that are inside this base path, it will just back up everything. And this base path gives the path to this project root. Let's say we give path to any other folder in our laptop. Then also it will do backup. It is not necessary that it will only back up the folders inside our Laravel app. It can back up any files and folders that are inside our computer. After this, we also have this exclude and it will just ignore all the folders that are inside this. We don't need to back up this vendor and node modules because we can easily generate those. So they are being excluded. And if you want any other folders that need to be excluded, then you can add it over here. This follow links false means it will just ignore all the sim links. It will just ignore unreadable directories as well. And here relative path is null, which means that the folder inside our zip file will be from the root of our computer. Let me show you what I mean. So this is just the backed up file. Now let me extract it here. And here inside we can see here home, assist, sites, Lara tips, all the folders from the root of our computer. But let's say we don't want this behavior. Okay. Let me just remove this for now. Then we can define that over here from where we want to do the backup. So here we are including all the folders that is inside the base path. Then we can just copy it and add it over here. It will just ignore any other folders that are parent of this folder. Now let me again run the backup. The backup is completed. And now if I again come here and extract it, then inside here we'll see the Laravel project only. I think it will be a good idea to add base path over here. So now let me again go back and remove this extracted folder. After this, MySQL section. So here, if you see here, the database that it will back up is MySQL, but it can also back up if you see here, Postgres SQL, SQLite and MongoDB as well. But let's say you want to exclude some tables, then you can add it like this. So here is the MySQL. You can just add these things like this over here. Also, I cannot show you everything here in the configuration file. So you can just look in the documentation and here the destination of the file we can add it over here the disk let's say we want to add it to the s3 bucket then we can just write here s3 like this then it will add to the local as well as to the s3 bucket 
since we are adding here local so it is backing up in our local storage system if you want to save it any other place then you can define this disk in the file system so here config so file system any disk that you define here can be used over here similarly you can also password protect the zip file similarly this package also sends us the notification whenever the backup was successful and whenever backup was failed whenever the backup is healthy or unhealthy then it will send us notification you can see all the notification over here and it will send us mail but we can also configure it to send it as a slack notification i'll show you that as well and i think it has already sent us mail let us see here in the mail trap i have already opened it since we did the backup twice so it has sent us the notification and here we'll see new backup size number of backups total storage newest backup so many information let's say you don't want this package to send notification whenever the backup was successful then you can just comment this but now let's say you also want notification in the slack then you can just write here comma and slack like this and i have already configured slack notification and if you don't know how to configure the slack notification then i have already created a video about it i'll be leaving the link to that video just below that like button and i'll show you that video also over here here inside you can see laravel tip instantly know when something goes wrong in your application via slack you can watch this video so we can just see here the mail data so here to whatever you write here it will send mail to that email from this email similarly here in the slack webhook url you need to add that webhook url and then it will send the notification using this so here i'll say env and this as i have said i have shown everything how to configure slack notification in my previous video you can watch that so i have done this now let's say i want to send the slack notification on every one of these i'll just do select every one of these and i'll say here slack like this and now i'll run another backup and it will send a notification to the slack as well and you can see here the slack notification over here successful new backup and you can see all the details over here as well as the details here in the mail i have deleted all the previous mails so you cannot see those you can also push notification to the discord similarly we can monitor the backups i'll show you this one also and you can clean the backups as well now let us again go back to the documentation over here and you can see here cleaning the old backups we need to clean the old backups suppose let's say we are doing a daily backup using that backup run command then there will be a lot of file in our file system or the S3 bucket because of that we need to pay more so it is very necessary to run the cleanup commands as it will remove all the old backups so there is one command php artisan backup clean we can run this command and we can add this command to the scheduler and it will automatically clean the old backups and if you don't know about task scheduling in laravel then i have created a full detail tutorial about it you can watch it from my channel as well and i'll be leaving the link just below that like button and people are really loving that video and when we run this backup clean command it will look at the configuration file and here in the cleanup key and it will look at this strategy and you can also write your own strategy if you want you can see all these configuration keys and you will easily know by looking at all the comments okay so not only cleaning up the backups we can also check the health of our backups so if you go here there is one command which is this php artisan backup list we can list all the backups by this command so if i just run this then you can see here the health reachability disk used storage everything we can see here but it is only showing us here in the console it also sends us an email whenever there is something wrong we can do that by different command we can say here backup monitor if i just hit enter it will monitor everything that you have mentioned in the configuration file and it will send us mail and also slack notification because we have added both mail and slack notification in the notification section of this backup config file and here is the notification data and here in the email also we can see the data let's say there is something wrong whenever we do the backup so here in the configuration file and i'll go here in the monitor backups and instead of 5000 i'll just write here 5 so maximum storage in megabytes it can only be 5 mb otherwise it will show error so i'll show you that previous command php artisan backup list then you can see here 
it is doing here cross in the healthy and it is saying that the backups are using too much storage because the backup storage size is greater than 5 mb now if i run backup monitor then it will send us the notification in the slack as well as to the mail as well so here we can see here red line and it is also showing us the message and here in the mail also we can see the same message and finally obviously we are not going to run this backup command manually we need to add this to the scheduler and for that you need to go in this app console kernel file and here in the schedule function and just add this command like this backup run backup clean and backup monitor and you can just change this time whatever you prefer and if you don't know about scheduler then as i have said earlier you can watch my video i'll be leaving the link just below that like button so that's it for this video guys and in the future i'll be coming with some other packages as well so thank you for watching have a great day bye